Hey y'all, how you doing? All right, so there are so many different things you can do with Silhouette Studio, um, but today I want to go over how to create an arched word. Um, a lot of people get confused, they don't know how to do this, and it's actually, you'll you'll find out it's, it's pretty easy. Um, so let's get started. Um, if you go over here on the left, you'll see your text. Click on that and click inside of your space here. I'm going to caps lock and I'm just going to say, let's just do the word tigers. I'm going to press enter because it takes me down to the, to the next level, which allows me to highlight it a little bit easier. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to make it, let's make it a little bit bigger. All right. Now, I'm going to change the font. You can either go up here and change the font. Um, however, for me, if, if I scroll down and I click on a font, it takes my list away. So I like to go over here to the right panel and click on the text style panel. And it's going to bring up all the fonts that I have downloaded on my computer. Um, since we're doing tigers, let's do academic. All right. So I like that. So let's keep that. I'm going to right click and click ungroup. It's going to ungroup everything. Uh, everything's still selected so I can grab the corner and make it a little bit bigger to where it's easier to see. And if I click out of the space here then I can actually see what kind of spacing is between the lettering and I like it. It looks pretty good to me. Um, however, some fonts don't have great spacing. So let's say some of them kind of come out like this and see how this one's closer and this one's not. So if you actually drag your mouse and highlight all of the letters, you go over here to the right, the transform panel, and here's your spacing where you can do horizontally, you can do it like that. And when you click on it, it makes your spacing even between all of your letters. And here you can either go center in the middle or bottom to make sure that it all lines up along the bottom and then right click and group and there you have it so now we have tigers if you want to change the color you can go here to the fill panel and we'll make it purple you can also go over here on the left side if you like to use so you have two areas two on the left and the right wherever you want to change it um, your outline it does have an outline because it's showing here it's black right now if you do not want an outline, you can go right here, click on that, and it takes away the outline. If you do want an outline, you can come back and let's just make an outline. It's really thin right now, you can see. So if you come over here and you let's just say we do a six point outline, now you can see there's the outline. Um, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to change it to zero just so we only have, and I'm going to take the outline off. Let's just take that off. Okay, so now we just have tigers. Now let's arch the word. Go up here into your panels and go down to where you see this here. It's warp. Click on warp and then click over here where it says ABC, warp templates. And here you have different types of warps that you can do. A lot of people uh, really like this arch type of warp. Um, but as you can see, it may not be maybe a little squished. You may not like how it looks right now. So if you grab this square on the top left of the letter, you can move it around. You can pull it up. And then um, right here in the middle, this little circle, is where you can change how the middle acts. And you can make it a little bit straighter or however you like it. You can do the same for the S over here. Just bring it up right here and the middle as well if you want to bring that up okay and if you want it a little arched on the bottom you grab this middle part and you can pull that up as much as you like now once you are satisfied with it if you want to make sure everything is straight you can well you can go up here I'll show you in a second I'm gonna release the warp in a minute but I'm gonna go up here 
this top part to page setup and I'm going to click on this grid settings to where it can show my grid. So then I can see if I zoom in where the top of my T and the top of my S and the bottom as well. So you can kind of get a good visual of where they land on the grid and like for instance here I kind of want to straighten that up a little bit more right along that line that way I know it's a little bit straighter and we can do the same here we can actually move it over to this line move this over to the 11 see here's 11 where I have my ruler and I'm gonna go right here just to straighten that up alright so now we can let me go back. You can always undo anything right here. You can always undo it. So we're going to go back into panels and go into warp where we began doing our warp before. And we're going to just do release warp. Then it's going to release everything. It's going to have where you can move your letters around if you want to. Um, I'm going to undo that. But if you highlight everything, and you right click your mouse and you group them then it's all grouped together I like to go back up here the page setup in the grid and I like to take my grid off where I can actually see the word a little bit better so that is how you arch a word um, it's pretty easy pretty simple and then you can once you group them together you can size it however you want to you can go up here this is where you, you can either use your mouse and go up and down here or you can go up to the top and you can change put 8 by 3 and it will change it there for you if you just want to keep it 3 inches or keep it proportional I'm sorry um, and just how it looks but maybe go a little smaller go 7 inches it's going to keep the proportion but just change change it all at the same time if you lock this right here if you unlock it then you can just change let's just say we'll go to two so that's what this lock does it will keep it all the same unless you drag it with your mouse right like that so anyway if you have any questions feel free to ask um, please like and subscribe and I will be posting some more videos in the future so please check back thanks y'all